This is Goodman, back with another Section 8 video. So my tenant called me up and said that her kitchen sink was leaking, looked underneath and saw that her strainer is plastic. People, do not buy plastic strainers. They are not worth the savings you'll be replacing in a year. Just buy the metal one when you start off. Anyway, so I brought my rigid 15-in-1 tool, whatever it's called, plumber's putty, the metal strainer, and this really cool plumber's wrench that will tighten anything that you need on this job. You can get all that stuff at Home Depot. So put the plumber's putty on the back of the strainer, shoved it in a position to get a good watertight seal, put my rigid tool in to keep it um, nice and tight on the top. These two washers come with the strainer. Make sure you install both of them. The cardboard one is a friction washer and has to be installed as well. Then use my cool little wrench to tighten everything from below. I put everything back the way it's supposed to be. I did everything to code into the book, so I don't want to hear any of the plumbers going, I've been doing this for 30 years and you did it wrong. No, I didn't. I don't want to hear it. It doesn't leak. It was done right, and that's all that matters.